Good afternoon, guys. This is Nick Allard. We've got Chris O'Shea with us today. We've got the lovely Julie Walsh behind camera. Uh, we're here for part three of Littleton, and it's a very sad day for us here. We're going to be going through and sharing with you guys some of the absolutely disgusting, bad, morbid, hellish, grandfather stuff that's been going on here uh, at this property. A lot of bad stuff. Uh, a lot of learning experiences. Hopefully you get some out of this, because I certainly did. But um, let's go through. We do have water here in the basement that has been coming in from a sewer line uh, underneath here. We'll grab that. Here's uh, our culprit right here. This is the water line. Uh, what's happening is that the septic is on electronic, uh, it's an electronic septic and being that the power is turned off and that it's been raining out here for a very long time here the last few days in New England, the water's been backing up back into the house, back into these water lines and flowing under the floors over into our nice little pit right here. The pit in that corner I believe you said was a foot and a half deep. We're going to be pumping all of this water out, obviously redoing the plumbing lines here, the plumbing line underneath the floor, uh, elbowing it back out into the regular drain line. This is where the shower is going to be going in the master bathroom. As you guys can see, we've got Flory. Hey, Flory. Hello. That's Flory from the Chelmsford Rio. We met him the other night. We've got Chris O'Shea. Chris O'Shea, rocking it. Hey, hey from your properties, hey, real estate. We've got Miss Julia Walsh. Hey. And we're going back down into the pit. Don't watch. It's very scary. Here's our ledge. Guys, whoever buys a house on ledge, uh, here it is. It's lovely. It's big. It's rocky. And it causes this issue, that issue, and oh, watch your step. We also have about, I believe they said they removed three truckloads of kitty litter, which the former homeowner had put up in the rafters as insulation. Um, and that's what all this kitty litter is doing on the ground. It was probably who knows how many truckfuls of it. But as you guys can see, what we discussed in the last video, uh, we have no walls. They took them all out, take the floors up. We also have to re-pour this sinking floor in here. And we're also going to repair the sinking foundation over there. So all in all, this is a pretty crappy house. Uh, definitely the most crappy I've ever worked on in the history of rehabs. I believe this is deal 107 for myself, Nick, at aarementor.com. So I'm hoping that people can use this as a learning experience. As we walk through, I just talked about the kitty litter, Great. talked about all the good stuff upstairs. Uh, one good ending to this video will be um, to have Chris stick his head up in the attic uh, where there's the growling animal. So this is on video. Yeah. <laughs> I'll climb up there. If I scream like a girl, then it's probably not worth you going up there. If I survive, then you have to go up to and see he does. whatever it is. He does. This is Nick. He's the man. He's our contractor here. Um, Nick's been working with me patiently through all these issues. And uh, he's doing his, uh, his absolute best to not completely destroy us on all these pricings that we're price increases that we're coming into. <laughs> I'm helping you out here. This is getting all poured of concrete. No lines can be framed. I'm not I'm just doing it. Seriously? Formed well, already. Right. Hold on a second. Wait, well, this is, this, this is the seal. What do you mean formed? Like, this is the concrete's going to go right here? This is, that's all you have to fill the concrete for your standing. Why? Oh. For the floor. Because? Just because? Yeah, because I can't even use wood joists on this anymore. It's everywhere. Up and down, I can't get it straight, so I'm pouring this all concrete. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. So that's for that's for our hallway, guys. And thank you, Nick, for pouring that in. He's going to pour this in. He's going to pour it over the new drain line instead of those new already. Yep. They're already in. Drain lines are in. Um, that's fantastic. Are we keeping this nice downspout here for the uh, for effect? Yes. <laughs> We walked through this house and located an awful lot of kitty litter on the floors. Fireproof. Fireproof kitty litter? Yeah. Oh, seriously? Oh, yeah. That's what it's called, fireproof insulation. Yep. Yep. 
Was it was it actually used as insulation? It's supposed to be insulation. It's supposed to be hard to Looks like Kenny the. Oh 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 okay. Yeah, there wasn't a giant cat living up there. No. That's what I thought. No. Gigantic <laughs> mountain cat. Yeah. Although you guys, we haven't confirmed that yet. <laughs> this is this is the crew we talked about in part two that may or may not be afraid of a very small ferret up in the attic. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have this guarantee you go up there with you. This guy's going, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going up. We're going to have a flashlight. We're going to have this on camera. This is Chris O'Shea, everybody. Everybody say hi to Chris. Chris or or, or goodbye, or goodbye, yeah. really. Or goodbye, yeah. This know, was right? the last time he was on camera. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> was eaten by a mountain lion last week. Up in the If you come yeah. running down and have to run through the main house, avoid the beam in the middle. All things coming down. Oh man, how many how many tons of kitty? What, how much stuff did you guys have to check out? Three point eight tons. That was just that wasn't all of it. That was just one. That's as much as we can get in one of those. Let's, let's, we're going to recap here real quick before we throw Chris up into the attic and have him be viciously mauled by an attack animal, whatever's up there that's scaring away all of our guns, right? Um, Chris, we had gutter downspouts for washer drains. Yes. We had crack lines going out into the garage. We had the house is sitting on a ledge itself like this. And in this little crawl space, we had about, would you guys say about two, ga two feet of water in the corner? Yeah, about, that. Yeah. about two feet of water in the corner over there. We had 3.6 tons of kitty litter that fell on people, and they had to truck that out uh, in the attics. We uh, had every single joist in the house, from the kitchen over, has been rotten and had to be replaced and reframed. And uh, now we're here, and uh, I'm probably missing a couple things, but we all just want to see Chris get mauled. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. You ready? How do we do this? Does Jed have an insurance policy or something that would cover me in the event that something does happen? I'm sure you're. I'm sure you're covered. I'm sure. I'll be right behind you. Okay. I'll be right. I'll be right behind you. <laughs> Any final words? Um. Yeah, that's all one space. Nah. It'll be fine. <laughs> I love like this. Let's make this happen. I love the grouping of all the guys. <laughs> They're all coming over to watch. <laughs> Apparently there's something really big in this attic, Chris. I don't know. I wish the biggest thing you've ever seen is a raccoon up here. Yeah, well, if a raccoon jumps. Yeah, I think it's a deer. Woo! Look at these guys. 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 <laughs> From those seats. Oh man. Look at that one on speed dial. It's like some little okay. baby cat. I'm gonna be so mad. Right. Wow. Right. Oh, 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 oh. I heard the hiss. Right here. Yeah. Right here in this corner. Oh wow. Yeah. Whoa, there was over there before. Yeah. No, that's him. <laughs> He's scraping the window. <laughs> it sounds like a ferocious it was way over the front corner. Right? Maybe it ran away. Go all the way up. This is crazy. No, don't be scared. Go all the way up. Yeah. Climb right up there. I don't know. Anybody no, he's I'll not going to go all the way up. No, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't see anything. There's nothing up there? You guys are a bunch of sissies. That's what I said. Up here. Oh, I left by now. You see There's anything, nothing? Chris? I was sitting here like. Birds or anything, nothing, no sign of anything. I'm happy about that. Some acorns. Acorns? It was a vicious squirrel. Quick, get it food! It ran out of nuts. Guys, we have successfully eradicated the beast for everybody. Thanks. It is now safe to go back up into the attic. You're welcome. Everybody, Chris came back alive. He's good. There's nothing up there. Out of, I believe we've had nine crews over the last three years, and this is our first crew that's afraid of an animal up in an attic. An, an imaginary animal. An imaginary animal with that. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's alright. Just yeah. having some fun. Alright guys, this is part three of the Devil House here in Littleton. We're going to see you in part four, where hopefully we have some resolutions to these problems. And uh, we'll see you then. AAREMentor.com for this and past videos. Wow. Wow. Wow.